Um, and so I, I think Europe is, you know, is, is running into this reality that um, that they they miscalculated, and now they're going to pay the price. Um, I don't wish harm on anybody. I certainly hope that there are brilliant economic minds in Europe right now that have found a solution to make life livable for all of Europe in the coming winter. Um, but you know, I also read Harry Potter and recognize that the various uh, you know spells that are cast are fiction, not real. That I, I no matter how much I wave a stick and say the magic words, things aren't going to happen. Um, the the Europe is in for a big problem. I, mean, I think Great Britain just uh, announced, you know, that they are in a recession with 13% inflation. Oh, boy. Uh, I can guarantee you that the inflation rate is probably closer to 20 because the way they calculate inflation is not reflective of uh, the real, yeah. you know, yeah. price increases across the board. The same thing here in the United States. They talk about, you know, double digit inflation, but they put a number one at the front. I'm here to tell you right now, inflation is closer to 23%. Um, that's just the way it is. And we are in a recession to to court consecutive quarters of a uh, negative growth. Um, you know, Biden can spin it any way he wants with uh, employment. <laughs> the statistics. Putin so, price hike. <laughs> oh, and, and and that doesn't mean that the Russians aren't suffering. But you know, this these sanctions were supposed to collapse Russia. They didn't. Yeah. These sanctions were supposed to destroy the Russian economy. Didn't happen. Um, you know, and we talk about energy to show you the hypocrisy of the West. Germany. We refuse to have the ruble. Man, I should have bought rubles a long time ago. Um, <laughs> we, we should have bought rubles for real. <laughs> I, could, I could have done the George Soros thing. Buy the ruble when it was 120, sell it 62. A lot of money. Man. But um, no, I'm not a money speculator. Keep it relaxed. But um, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, 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 you know, the, the thing is, the Russians, you know, the Germans, we're not going to buy Russian oil. There's a principled stand if you ever heard one. I mean, you know what? You don't want to buy Russian oil? Don't buy Russian oil. Except you are buying Russian oil. Yeah. Except that because you've said you're not going to buy it directly, Russia's selling it to India. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And India turns around, jacks the price up, and now you have to buy it from India at a far greater price than what you would have paid if you bought it from Russia to begin what, with. What so is the stupidity? What, I just, I don't, I can't compute what's going on it, it, it's it's unbelie unbelievable stupidity you know money wasting screw, uh, screwing people around screwing the average joe around it's really something well, uh, you know politicians are funny funny creatures they live in a fantasy world of their own making um they they actually believe that when they all get together that somehow the the you know the the mere fact that you have so many um you know, great minds, and I put that in quotation, uh, located in one place, that when they speak, it means something. Uh, that when they put up a PowerPoint, it, it means something. And, and it could if, if their words were attached to a reality. But, you know, they got it all wrong about, about sanctions. Um, you know, there's one thing to say, we're going to have to tighten our belts. It's another thing to say that we're going to have to take the belt off and burn it and cut our pants up and burn it because we've got no fuel. I mean, you're just going to go naked at that point in time, but they can't admit that they're going to go naked. The beauty of this, though, is that because Europe is governed ostensibly by democracies, democracies are self-policing um, institutions. And because most democracies operate under that age-old truism put forward by the raging Cajun himself, James Carville, back in 1992, it's the economy stupid. Uh, by getting it so wrong <laughs> on the economy, uh, the European population, I believe, is going to self-correct by removing the politicians that got it wrong and replacing them with people who, while they may not be pro-Russia or sympathetic to Russia, uh, will have to be more responsive to the needs and wants of the people, which means that they're going to have to enact economic policies um, that are reality-based. And if the only source of energy out there is Russian energy, then reality dictates that you're going to have to buy Russian energy. 